Hi Kenyans. So there was a time I think Kerry made it easy to file returns online. So we actually did it on iTax. So iTax I think started in 2015 for wale wajai iTax and um the funny thing is when you open it you start being fined from 2015 eh, 2015 so itax there was a time you you know you could actually do put your numbers online and then it would just calculate and then you submit online so i don't know why that was removed i don't know if it was easy or harder uh, sometimes you know if you haven't navigated I tax i usually wonder how easy or hard it is for people of course when i say this i almost imagine uh, a carry official being asked this or a leader and then they say of course it is one of the best you know this is a script ni kama kila mtu kwa gava wana somanga wana mpaka waseme kila ile kitu wanafanya it is one of the best in the world alafu paka umwambiwe about another place where it's worse or we are at par with the first world country anyway so now that thing was removed so now you act when you're filing returns you download an excel sheet sasa akaka format ka excel sheet sijui ni watu wangapi wanaweza fungua ina kuanga format nyingine ya kitambo ile sijui computer za siku hizi kama zinaweza fungua so ina maanisha most often you either get an accountant is it at this point where you say lakini si uko na do so si u part anyway ama wende kwa cyber ama you have to get an off you know it's always funny how you think people sometimes think getting an off is easy anyway you get an off i love you go to the offices so you go with ile maombi ya you hope the systems are working i love you watch your story of systems you hope that whoever you get is in a good mood unajua kuna kuanga tu na hiki tu sijui ni ite si zote but sijui ni ite most government offices when you kuuliza ukifikiria tu kwenda gava you does your your head start paining unaanza tu kumwona tumbo yani it has an mental anguish unakuanga nayo at the thought of what you're going to go through which is why most often watu wengi wanatumia nga agent mtu mwingine akufanye hiyo job which means huyo agent unamlipa na huyo agent anaenda anafanya hizo machochoro zake alafu mpaka alipe so it's always again the case of in kama bribe you're bribing and bribing so that you you escape your process because the process is so easy because sometimes there are people who just make it very difficult our officials una first wana ni kama wana wote wanalazimishwa ngwa they must make the process really slow but they hamtani arakisha i love i'm not saying that kenyans are easy to work with but still hamtani arakisha number one number two nda kugage una kaunaweza toa do in fact nikikuangal nikiangalia zile pesa unapatanga unaweza si niache ka kitu or si tuongee si niache chai you know as in if you don't yani umeshaiona watu ni kama wanakuanga wakali yani wamekuangalia ni wabaya they are rude lakini ukidangle tu kapesa hivi they are so warm hearted alafu hata wanaweza kuambia life story wanaweza kugi namba yao Wah, me I don't know. Anyway. So, your format. Another thing with that Excel sheet is always ifanya copy paste. You know copy paste, the idea of copy paste is just makes like life easier. You just do and put see ile unajaribu ku type each and everything. It often also reduces you the possibility of errors. Sawa tu. So hopefully you don't make an error. Sasa zile unaenda kwa iTax. Imagine when you make an error. Hiyo error itoka ngi. Alafu hiyo error inakuanga na penalty zake na interest zake every single time inaenda tu ikiweka. And you have to appeal. Hata kama umefinya amend, you have to appeal continuously and, and sijui kama inakuanga na auto reply. So sawa tu. So let's say ata hizi ukifanya returns you find out your boss or your former boss alikuwa anakukata pay lakini hakulipa hiyo pay vizuri guess it it comes on who where where yani where where you have to pay for your boss not paying pay properly ai umeelewa hiyo story wow 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 at now you follow your boss is amkora or your former boss is amkora for not paying pay but it is on you you 
are the one who's going to suffer for that anyway so let's see sawa so, wewe uh, umeshindwa kungangana na KRA umeshindwa kungangana na na boss yako or former boss so decide you'll hang on the waiver so like 2021 there was a 100% waiver so we decide the thing with the waiver for carry let me tell you for other things when they call the word waiver it means they cancel out like if you pay land rent or land rates yeah there are two of them you when they give you a waiver yani wanatoa hakuna explanation ni kutoa tu and then you pay what you owe but for carry number one, unaandika application you know I almost feel like who ever gets through that application letter cuz mimi na unaangalia kama unapata tu auto reply so application letter after that if you pass your application letter unaenda interview tumigutu wako tujipeleke kwa KRA office i don't know why for what purpose to see who ndio muonge nini hiyo conversation ni conversation na gani and that conversation kuna bribe kwa hiyo story is it going to lead to a bribe whatever you want to call it so that you agree on the terms of payment is a bribe going to be put in that cash story whoever ends up ha- having their waiver uh, interest and penalties removed and they make payments without a bribe being involved ebu niambieni You know for me it always goes back to the people who are employed. Anything I just keep talking about in any government office is the kind of people who are employed in office. You want to tell me each and every government office just having people who you can who are of character. You know you trust these people that are doing this nini, this job and they are not going to ask you for something that they are fair fair yani si watu wako na ukora as in huyu ana treat hivi huyu ana treat hivi they aim to be fair they are caring as in they you know care awako hapo at the wal, wak, unaona wameka manpower they are going at sasa kusumbua watu especially watu wamengangana to pay for all those things au ndio anakuja kuwasumbua just to look for a minute thing ndio wasumbue alafu they are responsible you can leave them with the work that they are doing and they are respectful you tell me i know kerry was trying to change their name from kenya revenue authority to kenya revenue service but it always comes down to the people that we employ you want to tell me us as kenyans we are not people of character yani kwa sababu ni kama kila mahali tuko na shida na watu nikuuliza wale watu walikuwa wameshikwa kuna kitambo watu walikuwa wamevaa to hoods walikuanga court au watu wako wapi see they are probably back in the office can you ever trust anything that goes through i'm just i'm just wondering you know and as i say this it is our duty to pay taxes however you want to say it especially people who are followers of christ people who have said they trust christ to be their salvation and they want to be like him these people you know you pay tax whether or not it's being used properly whether or not it's unfair akunanga disclaimer hapo it's just pay your taxes because we do it for Christ's sake we do it for God's sake not for other people and so and it's been put there and God puts anything God puts there it's for it's good and he is good right uh, and he's wise um, so and scripture the bible is above and it's the wisest thing above all human wisdom because it's from god so again here i am as helpless as i don't know how many kenyans hoping that kra in the work that they're trying to do they're doing uh for the purpose and good of kenyans and um yeah bye